Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? Uh, George Hickman here uh, with Sebastian Michael, uh, future MMA Hall of Famer once he changes from Muay Thai. But anyways, uh, there was a, a question about uh, showing, because we've been uploading some uh, videos recently to the YouTube. We're going to continue to try to do that. Um, and somebody had a question of if we could show a head opposite side double leg, right? So that means if we're in the same stance, right, we're both orthodox, we're shooting with my head to his backside. In normal wrestling, at no point would I ever shoot to the backside because we're both very low. My head would always be on this side, right, on the lead side. But for MMA, it's great because I can use this because of the way that we stand. We're more upright, the distance is different, okay? And I'll do it three, two different ways, okay? We'll do it offensively. So if I'm fainting, right, I'm moving, and my partner stand, like, before he comes to me, right, I'm gonna attack him first. So I'll show it offensively, and then when he attacks me. So first, I'm moving, I'm giving him some different looks. I need to get close to him. I need to make him put his hands up. One, two, lower. I cannot hit this takedown from here because I'm too far. As if you look, my lead arm, right, it's gonna, it, it's much shorter. If I just step this way, right, versus now the same thing, I bridge in, boom, boom, one, two, I attack, now I bridge again, it's much easier. My arms are more like so. In the first one, if I don't take that extra bridge step, my arm is way out here, right? So I may, if I'm shooting like this, I might as well just do a single leg. So again, so offensively, I'm moving, I'm giving them different looks, and I can go off of any punch combination. It doesn't matter. Boom, his hands are up. Lower, step, and down. Okay? Once I end up on top, for me personally, and everyone's different, it's all, you know, kind of what you're best at and what you're comfortable with on top. For me, I would want to figure for his legs, I would want to mount him, or I would want to go to half guard rather than side control because I find that you can do much more damage in ground and pound uh, in, in those positions. So one more time, moving, whatever punch combination, boom, boom, I lower, not going down. Lower in or lower and up, lower and up. One more time, stop, stop, lower, step. The second option, which I think is probably the easiest way to do it, is defensively. Okay, so if, if Michael's just throwing, let's say, five jabs in a row, right? I can't back up too much because I'll be at the cage wall, right? If I back up to where the lines are, maybe he punches me and strikes into, into being against me on the wall in a clinch. So as, I, as he's like double jabbing, right, I want to shuffle to get space, right? Now I have space. So again, he comes lower. He's not going to be able to stop on a dime. He's going to still be hitting me. So this time, as he's still coming forward, I shuffle back, lower my level, and I take that extra jab step or that extra bridge. So he comes, boop, and through, okay? So slowly, as he comes back, shuffle, lower. He's already almost here. Shoulder has to hit, right? Because otherwise, we're doing this way, not good. Shoulder must hit, boop, and now my leg is coming around as my head pops into him and my arms flare his legs, okay? So one more time, he comes, boom, lower, and down. And then we have the head opposite side double leg. Thank you. Subscribe, like, and share.